Hello viewers, we'd be Ben here with another boat maintenance project. Today we'll be changing the oil in the lower unit of this Volvo Penta dual prop out drive. Volvo Penta recommends changing the oil in the lower unit at least once a year or every 200 hours. We're going to start with the motor in the lowered position. The first thing we do is we remove the dipstick from the top of the outdrive. The dipstick is located right at the very top of the outdrive here and you may need to use a screwdriver to get it started. So you just turn it counterclockwise and then you should be able to just pull the dipstick out like that and we'll clean that and set that aside. When you pull the dipstick out, make sure you hang on to the O-ring. There's an O-ring that is under the collar of the dipstick, or it may be retained around the opening where the dipstick came out of the drive. Next, we'll tilt the drive up. There are two screws that hold the shifter cover onto the out drive. These will have to be removed in order to access the oil fill. The bottom screw right here, and you'll need a large Phillips screwdriver to back these out. And up at the top here. Each of these screws may have an O-ring on the inside to retain the screws. So here we can see the O-ring on this screw and there's an O-ring on this one too. So keep track of those O-rings, you don't want to lose those. But those are just to keep the screws from falling out. This is the oil fill here. The cap has an Allen head on it. We're gonna leave this in for right now until we can get the drain plug out from the bottom of the drive. Leaving this plug in will keep the oil from gushing out down below. The drain plug for the south drive is at the bottom here and it has a slot in it. I fabricated a custom tool for loosening this drain plug because Usually, it's pretty stubborn to get out, and I don't want to damage that slot. So this is a 5 8 inch uh, drill bit where I've ground off the pointed bit on the end just to make it a 5 8 inch wide slotted screwdriver. I put a container capable of holding more than three quarts under the outdrive to catch any oil draining. Now we'll loosen that drain plug. Frequently, it takes a little bit of effort to crack it initially. But once you get started, then you can remove it by hand. And we'll get ready to catch this oil as it comes out. There she goes. There's an O-ring on here, too, so you don't want to lose that. The oil coming out looks pretty decent, actually. If the oil comes out looking cloudy, that usually means you've got a leaking seal that's letting water into the outdrive, and that's not good. And if the if there's metal flakes or the oil's really black, it means you've got trouble as well. But this looks like this is a healthy lower unit. Once this is going, we can uh, now go up above and loosen the uh, filling cap. There is a little magnet on the end of this drain plug and this is where you would look to see if there are any metal filings. Now we'll take out the fill plug. Inexplicably everything on this boat is metric with the one exception and that is this drain plug requires a 3 8 inch allen key. And like everything else in this, uh, there is a gasket here. This is a fibrous gasket actually, so you wanna make
make sure you don't lose that. It could either be attached here or left on here. Now we're gonna refill the drive through this opening rather than injecting the oil in from below like in most out drives. Let's go back down below and we'll reinsert the drain plug down below. We'll just wipe this with a rag here. And here's our drain plug with the O-ring in place. Get that started there. And we just want to make this snug with the screwdriver. And that's it for down below. This out drive requires a uh, synthetic 75W90 gear oil. And we're using Valvoline Pure Synthetic here. This takes 2.7 liters. So we'll just go ahead and fill it up through the fill hole. I've put two liters of the gear oil in using the new bag style packaging, but I prefer the old bottle style here to put in the last bit because I can actually measure the volume that has gone in. We've put in two liters, so I need to put in 700 milliliters that'll leave 300 in the bottle so i'll keep a close eye on the volume that i put in okay so i've got 300 cc's left in the bottle here so i've put 700 in the drive that should top it up We'll just wipe up any spilled oil and we'll put the drain plug, the uh, filler plug back in. Make sure we have the gasket on there. And we'll just snug it with the Allen wrench here. All right, so we should now be able to tilt the drive down and we'll check the level with the dipstick. Okay, we've got our dipstick here with the O-ring attached. And we'll just dip that in here. And we'll check the level here. A note on um, packaging and metric conversions. Each of these bags contains 946 milliliters or one quart. So in order to achieve a total fill volume of 2.7 liters, we need to add the contents of two of these bags plus another 808 milliliters from the last bag or bottle. So I needed to drain the oil from that last bottle into here until it was just below the 200 milliliter mark on the side of the bottle indicating uh, less than 200 milliliters left in the bottle. Now with 2.7 liters in here, you can now check the dipstick and see that it's about uh, just about seven eighths right here on the dipstick. So that's perfect. And we check the dipstick by um, dropping it, but not screwing it in. So that's just at the top of the threads. And that's how you get the, the correct level. So making sure that O-ring is there, we'll tighten this up. So we'll just snug this up with the screwdriver. Don't want that too tight because there's a gasket under it. Then we'll replace the transmission cover here and we'll be all done. So that's all there is to changing the oil on the lower unit of one of these Volvo Penta dual prop out drives. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, Bye-bye.